Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to compare two very large numbers and find out which one is larger. We have 3 to the power 2 to the power 150 and 2 to the power 3 to the power 100. And we're going to figure out which number is larger. Now, think about this. We have the different bases 3 and 2. If the exponent of 3 is greater than the exponent of 2, then the first number is definitely larger, right? Because we have a large base and a large exponent. Most probably that's not going to be the case because otherwise it will be too easy. So let's go ahead and explore a little bit further. So we're going to be looking at the exponents first. Let's compare 2 to the power 150 and 3 to the power 150. And then from the exponents, we're going to go to the original numbers. I'm also going to show you the numerical values. You're going to see the magnitude, how large the numbers are. And now we're just going to finish up with a fun topic. Anyways, uh, how do you compare 2 to the power 150 and 3 to the power 100? That should be fairly easy because 150 and 100 have a common factor. 2 to the power 150, and if you said 50, you're right. 2 to the power 150 can be written as 2 to the power 3 to the power 50 because 3 times 50 equals 150. And 3 to the power 100 can be written as 3 to the second power to the power 50. Notice that these two numbers have the same exponent if you just ignore what's inside the parentheses. Make sense? Obviously, 3 squared is 9 and 2 cubed is 8, right? So 3 squared is greater than 2 to the third power. 9 is greater than 8. And then let's, let's go ahead and raise both sides to the 50th power. And then the inequality will be preserved because you have positive numbers and you're raising them to a higher power. The larger side stays the larger. And then this indicates 3 to the power 100 is greater than 2 to the power 150. And we were kind of expecting that, right? If 2 to the power 150 were larger than the, you know, the problem would be done right there. Okay, so 3 to the power 100 is greater than 2 to the power 150. And this kind of goes against the usual fact that if you have a smaller base, that usually indicates a larger number, but that's not always the case. Anyways, this number is larger, but how much larger? That's what we need to talk about. In other words, if you divide both sides by 2 to the power 150, you're going to notice that this fraction, written as a fraction, this is going to be greater than 1, but it could, it could also be greater than a number that is larger than 1. I hope... I'm making any sense. Let's make it more clear. So I'm going to go ahead and divide 3 to the power 100 by 2 to the power 150. And this is the most critical part of the solution because this is, a, this is going to bring a really important uh, fact. So ba basically we can write this as, as you know, 3 to the second to the power 50 over 2 to the third to the power 50. That's where it comes from. And this allows us to write it as basically 9 to the power 50 divided by 8 to the power 50. Since these two numbers have the same exponent, we can go ahead and express them with the same exponent, a common exponent. So writing it like 9 over 8 as a fraction to the power 50. So here we used a property of exponents that can be written as a to the power n divided by b to the power n can be written as the power of a over b, the nth power of a over b. So that's the property we basically used here. Now, why did they do that? Because as is, these two powers are really hard to compare, except for the fact that we do know 3 to the power 100 is larger, but we want to know how much larger, like how many times it's going to be bigger than 2 to the power 150. And that's going to be made possible by this fraction here, because we're going to use an awesome theorem called the binomial theorem. Binomial theorem to the rescue. So whenever you have something larger than, slightly larger than 1, you can always think about uh, the binomial theorem because 9 over 8 can be written as 1 plus 1 over 8 and then raise it to the 50th power and now we can go ahead and use the binomial theorem. Now don't worry about this whole thing because there's going to be 51 terms. We're not going to expand the whole thing. We don't need to do that. You'll see in a little bit we only need a couple terms. So since this is like a plus b to the power n, you know from binomial theorem this is 
n choose 0, which is 1, a to the n, and then we get n choose 1, a to the power n minus 1 times b, n choose 2, blah, blah, blah. That's the binomial theorem, okay, that I'm referring to. So if you expand the first term, it's going to be 1 to the power 50, which is just 1, okay. That's what's cool about having a 1 here instead of a 2 or a 3, because all powers of 1 uh, will be 1. And then the next term is going to come from here, n choose 1, which is 50 choose 1, multiplied by 1 again, but you don't have to write a because a is 1. Just focus on b, which is the second term, 1 over 8. And 1 over 8 actually will be raised to the first power here because that is the first time it appears. So the powers of 1 eighth will increase as the powers of 1 decreases, but it doesn't matter. The powers of 1 is just going to make uh, no difference. So the, set, the next term is going to be 50 choose 2, just to show you what the pattern looks like. And now it's going to be followed by a 1 over 8 to the second power, then 50 choose 3, so on and so forth. We don't need all the rest. We don't even need the third term, but I just wrote it for fun. So what is this? 50 choose 1 is 50, because n choose 1 is always n. Multiplied by 1 8, this is going to be 50 over 8, which you can write as 25 over 4, which is about 6. 0.25, I think, right? Or exactly 2.5, whatever. And then dot, dot, dot. I don't really need those. Now, why did I do this? So here's my goal. I want to prove that this fraction here, 9 over 8 is, uh, let's see, 450, 225, 1.125, right? So that's close to 1. But when you raise it to the 50th power and think about Euler's number, uh, the answer is going to be greater than 2. That's my claim. And I can easily prove that because 50 over 8 is actually greater than 1, right? This is greater than 1. So 1 plus something greater than 1 is going to be greater than 2. Make sense? That is what I need. So let's go ahead and rewrite it. 9 over 8 to the power 50 is greater than 2. Awesome. How am I going to use it? Well, I'm going to replace 9 over 8 to the 50 with... 3 to the power 100 divided by 2 to the power 150. Remember, that's where it comes from. It's greater than 2. And then cross multiply, but do not combine the powers. Make sense? You'll see in a little bit why we're not combining the powers. I know it's tempting. You want to write 2 to the power 151, but don't do it. Now, this is a super duper important fact. Let's go ahead and use it in our problem. 2 to the power 3 to the power 100 is greater than 2 to the power 2 times 2 to the power 150. In other words, this is what I'm doing here. I'm doing 2 to the power both sides. Make sense? If this is true, then that is true. Make sense? Okay, hopefully. Now from here, we get something interesting because this is 2 can be uh, taken inside and we can leave the 2 to the power 150 in, uh, outside. And then 2 to the second power is 4 and this is greater than 3 to the power, 2 to the power, 150, because 4 is greater than 3. Look at this. The exponents are the same, the bases are different, and 4 is greater than 3. So this result is true, and guess what that indicates? It indicates that, so focus and do some hocus pocus, and here's the conclusion. 2 to the power, 3 to the power, 100 is greater than 3 to the power, 2 to the power, 150. And that is going to be the larger number. Let's go ahead and take a look at some numerical values. And you'll be amazed, I think. So first, 3 to the power, 2 to the power, 150, a smaller number. This number has 6.8 times 10 to the power, 44 decimal digits. It has this many digits. I'm not saying this is the number. It has this many digits. Very, very, very large number. And then let's compare it to the other number, which is also super duper large. And this is the larger number. Yay, 2 to the power 3 to the power 100 wins. And it has 1.55 times 10 to the power 47 decimal digits. And guess what? You can compare these numbers to 10 to the power 100. And that is called a Google, not the website. It is the G-O-O-G-O-L, a very large number. You don't even need this number to account for anything. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.